Today, I'm trying the Microfreak vocoder for the first time. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Gun Makuma. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. Pretty excited for today's video. It's been a very highly requested one. So many of you have wanted me to check out the vocoder on the Microfreak. Now, uh, the vocoder was actually introduced via a firmware update last year, or maybe the year before. Uh, I can't remember. They've <laughs> released so many updates for the Microfreak since it came out. But basically, the update showed us that Arturia had been very, very sneaky, and uh, this headphone jack that had been included, you know, on every uh, Microfreak since release, uh, was also an input. And if you had a TRRS headset, you could actually use the microphone with the vocoder. Now, of course, Arturia also did release uh, the white version of the Microfreak, which uh, also comes with a built-in gooseneck mic, which uh, not only uh, plugs into the headphone jack there, but it also splits the separate output for you so you can still use headphones uh, with the microphone on it, which is pretty cool. You can also buy that gooseneck mic separately. I believe it's like 30 US dollars. But like I said, if you have one of these like typical cell phone headsets laying around, it'll work. Now, until yesterday, I did not have one of these, uh, but uh, a friend actually gave me an old one and I was like, oh, I, I can use that for the Microfreak. I can finally try the vocoder. So there's the microphone on the headset, that little black hole. Okay, so I'm now wearing that microphone. I'm gonna use the type knob here and I'm going to scroll to vocoder. There we go. So uh, I have never used a vocoder before, so go easy on me. Uh, if you have any tips or fun tricks to try, please let me know in a comment down below. This is just about my first time using this. So I believe I can just hold a note. Yeah, and start talking and there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa. It's really sort of disorienting. Uh, if you've never used a vocoder before, uh, there's this huge disconnect between the sounds your mouth is making and the notes that your keys are, or that your fingers are playing on the keys. Oh, that's trippy. <laughs> that's super trippy. It's really hard to not try and match the pitch of your voice uh, to the notes you're playing. Let's try paraphonic mode so we can play a chord. Yeah, that's crazy. Whoa, that's so trippy. That's so cool. Okay, let's uh, play with our controls here. So the wave knob looks like it controls the pulse width. Oh no, okay, so if it's all the way down, it's a saw wave. Then we get a pulse wave and we can control the width. And then once we get past that, it turns into noise. That's so crazy. The timbre knob controls the shift. Okay, cool. And the shape knob is the bandwidth, okay. Okay, so right out of the gate, I can tell that I'm gonna wanna put the LFO uh, controlling the timbre knob. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna go to LFO and timbre, and let's set that to like 25 right now. I also just uh, noticed that the LFO is not synced to our tempo, so we will need to keep that in mind. Uh... 
I'm going to turn off Paraphonic. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, because the LFO was super maxed. This is a crazy effect. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, this is pretty weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Okay, I see why you all wanted me to try this out. This is sick. Um, sampling possibilities are just endless. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Let's just slow the LFO down a bit. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, let's increase the depth. 75. <laughs> That's really cool. Let's try negative now. Let's try negative 34, sure. Okay, I like that. Uh, let's try unison mode. So shift, paraphonic. Uh, now all of our voices are just uh, set to the same note. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, let's try out an arpeggio. Sure. Okay, so I have an arpeggiated G minor chord set up. Once I turn on the arp, I should just be able to start talking, and it should just pick it up and get us going. So, here we go. That's so crazy. Those little sweeps there that almost sounded like a filter sweep, uh, that was me making the S noise with my mouth. So just like... <laughs> That's so cool. This is nuts. I had no clue the vocoder was going to be this fun, and I know that probably makes me uh, sound like an idiot. But remember, I am uh, I'm still new to electronic music. I may be a very experienced uh, acoustic musician, but uh, this is all new to me, so <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, we didn't really touch the uh, patch bay in this one, but that's just because this is literally me getting to use this for the very first time. Uh, I didn't even know if I was going to like it, and now I can tell that we are definitely going to have some vocoder jams with the micro freaking like the NTS-1, uh, probably the Monotron delay as well. Uh, I had no clue that there were going to be this many options, and I also recognize that I haven't even scratched the surface of what this vocoder can do. Also, I do want to address something really quick. All microfreaks have the vocoder. Like I said at the beginning, any of the microfreaks have this headphone jack that is also a combo for the microphone. Uh, so if you have any of these like cell phone style headsets, plug one in there and it'll be good to go. The vocoder is not exclusive to the new microfreaks. It is on all of them. So I do hope that you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, of course, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. If you have any tips or advice or anything uh, for me to try with the Microfreak vocoder, please, I'm begging you, let me know in a comment down below. Other than that, I sure appreciate you watching. Thank you so very much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye.